Weiß Bescheid. This is the story of a song that has come to be known as the Soldier's Christmas Song. I'm Gary Bautel. The song, Christmas Eve in my hometown, was written by two ex-GIs, Don Upton and Stan Zapka. It was first recorded for AFN in 1952 during the Korean War by one of America's most popular singers, becoming the most requested AFN Christmas song in later years. I just know he works at V's spot and he's kind of a big deal. I'm so excited to meet a living legend. You know, what do you know about him before this trip going into it? I just know that he is the voice of AFN, is what I've heard. He's been around for over 50 years. Um, I've heard some of his stories. He just sounds like the consummate professional, so I'm honored to meet him. Let's go meet him, huh? Yeah, let's do it. One essential item is missing from the AFN broadcasters in processing checklist when they get to Germany, and that is to meet the voice of AFN. Seek and you shall find. We set out to do so, hoping just to shake the legend's hand. Have you met Gary Bautel? No, well, not officially. He doesn't know who I am, but I know who he is. Gary Bautel is the AFN equivalent of Walter Cronkite. Every military broadcaster worth his salt knows who he is. Our Sembach radio news team took a field trip up the Autobahn to Wiesbaden, Germany to find Gary Bautel. Suddenly, there he was the man who's interviewed presidents. We quickly formed a line to meet him. Gary warmly welcomed us to his radio station, where he is station manager. He seemed pretty normal and down to earth. Give me a quick tour my office. We felt a rush of excitement being in the presence of this man known by millions. Gary and fellow AFN pioneers brought rock and roll to post-war Germany. He introduced a culture to the music of Johnny Cash, Jimi Hendrix, The Doors, and others. Gary showed us around, and we were humbled by his kindness. Well, mission accomplished, return to Sembach, right? But actually, Gary had bigger plans for us, like a personalized history lesson. Well, the basic history that was set up in London, and we came with our, well, in the beginning, big band sounds, and then along came rock and roll country, jazz, and everybody, I mean everybody listened to AFN. And the DJs were like like stars. They were treated like, like you know, f film stars. Our lucky stars were aligned. We were tuned in and listening like millions of ears before us to Gary Bottel's golden voice box tell the story. And the reason for our existence has always remained the same. It's to bring the message from home to the troops in Europe. This is the American Forces Network on the road to Berlin. So that's what I did, and that's how I got to AFN. I knocked on the door, and they said, who are you? And I said, I'm yours. And they said, okay, well, <laughs> and the rest is history. After his bought the t-shirt and wore it, historical account of AFN. It was a great life. A DJ handed out Gary's tips for radio writing. We didn't want to overstay our welcome, but something was becoming obvious. Gary had blocked off half his day for us and was turning a meet and greet session into a lesson. I just have this, this, this wealth of experience that I like to share. Not everything I've learned over the years is relevant anymore, but some of it is, and storytelling is definitely that major thing. Telling the GI story is a noble profession, and each story, no matter how small, is worth your very best telling of it. Whether you're going out and covering a change of command or doing a story on blood drive or whatever, uh, you have some kind of point to make. Speaking of the art of storytelling, I think you already know the point of this story. A group of young AFN broadcasters took a field trip to seek out their hero. And their hero took the time to turn a moment into an improvement. Yes, we'll take his shared knowledge back to our station for some AFN home improvement. And although we had to say goodbye, we know where our friend will be. You see, you don't need a GPS to find Gary Bottel. Just use your radio dial. Staff Sergeant Ben Woken, Sembach, Germany.